September 11th, 2022. I have returned to the graveyard in Flosheim after five years. I was here in 2017 and no surprise, there's a lot more graves than there were then. Right in front of us is the railway line and I'm right behind us are fields which I imagine some of these can be used for more graves and they're probably currently working farms. Flesheim is very close to, to Frankfurt, it's in between Frankfurt and Wiesbaden across the river from Raunheim, Rüsselsheim. I first came here in 1986. These are gardens that uh, people grow food in, summer gardens. I was first here in July 1986 when Lothar brought me to meet his parents who are now buried in this graveyard. He, uh, we stayed there for two nights before I went back to America to my children and my job. I have not been able to find the graveyard of Lothar's parents who were Lothar and Ruth, Ruth Nerdlinger and Lothar Blosfeld Sr. But what I have found is the graveyard of Ruth's brother, Ugo. Ugo Nerdlinger, who was, because his father was a Jew and he was classified as a half German, he was sent to the Russian front in the Second World War and miraculously survived. And here he is. I, of course, did not meet him. He died before I met him. But I did meet his wife, Magda, who was a very blonde German woman. And their daughter, Failure, who didn't even get to be 50. She was trained as a physicist and she was the last Nerdlinger. She did have a daughter who I imagine planted this heart. I tried to clean up the grave a bit. Um, it actually looks pretty good. But uh, since I can't pay my respects to Lothar and Ruth, although I'll, I'll look at every grave. This year. I looked, I know they're in, buried in this graveyard. I looked at every grave I could find. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Wow. And there's a cross. The last of the Nerdlingers. There were three brothers, or maybe four, I'm not quite sure. It came from Stuttgart early in the 1900s. Ernst Nerdlinger married someone else. And the, I, I'm not, I, I found it on Ancestry. And then he, find, then he married a Barbara Bush of the, an old Flesheim, well, an old family of this Taunus region. And uh, so Ugo, Ruth, and their sister Sophie, who became Mrs. Bertel, Boytel, they were the three children of Ernst Nerdlinger, Dr. Ernst Nerdlinger, who was a chemist, and Barbara Bush. Their eldest brother was the brilliant one. He was also Ugo Nerdlinger. He was Dr. Ugo Nerdlinger. And he died in 1917, and you can see here that this Hugo was born in 1919. He was clearly named after Dr. Hugo. Dr. Hugo had all these patents. He was definitely the driving light behind the pharmaceutical company that raised this whole poor, very poor farming region 
out of poverty. Um, yeah, they built a pharmaceutical factory, they built a rowing club, and the house w that they lived in is magnificent. I'm going to walk past that. I've, I've taken photographs of it before when I came five years ago, but I'll, I'll, take, I'll do a walking tour of the area. Um, then along came the Nazis and said, you know, everything has to be seized from Jews. And the factory, who, which was at that stage run by this Hugo's cousins, Rudolf and Eugène. And they were shipped off to a concentration camp. We found their names on the Wiesbaden Memorial. Oh dear. Nazis suck. <laughs> A very mild term for something of the great, greatest evil. The greatest evil that uh, Vladimir Putin is reigning on Ukraine at the moment. But we're smarter than he is. Ah. Hugo, I never met you. Thank you for living. Thank you for failure. And it would be really nice if failure's daughter sees this video. Because she is then a second cousin of my children, my Blosfeld children. Alistair Blosfeld and Patience Blosfeld Dodgson. September 11th, 2022, I'm going to keep looking for Lothar and Ruth's grave. Thank you for watching.